This is OXDF looking at Node Blog from UHC and Hack the Box. Um, and I've already solved the box. I'm going to get a blog post up about that. Um, but afterwards, I was playing with something, trying to figure out um, what uh, some, how some URL encoding was handling. And I, I thought it'd be interesting. Um, I found some kind of weird behavior, and I thought it'd be interesting to show in a video. It didn't feel like it would write up very well. Um, so I've got this payload right here. It's a cookie, um, and it ends up getting deserialized. Um, again, you go, I'll put a link to the blog post if you want to go read the details on that. Um, but so when I send this, it, it's a ping payload, and you get a ping here. Uh, so if I un URL encode this, Control Shift U, uh, you can see the JavaScript function. You know the JavaScript um, required child process. There's my ping command right there. Um, if I try to, try to just send this as is, uh, it just hangs and there's no response. Uh, so my first thought was, oh, okay, I'll just URL encode this, and so you can select the whole thing, Control U, and it URL encode most of it. Um, but it, it doesn't work. You can see I'm not getting back pings. Um, so, you know, clearly there's something between, so if I, you know, unencode this and then I come back in and convert selection, encode all characters, there's, it's pinging again. So you can see the ping pop up on the left here. Um, so I wanted to know like, okay, well, what, what is breaking it? And so I started by just saying like, let's just grab a big chunk of this and the come down here and encode all characters and it still works. And so I can then just start like kind of unchunking things here. Let's see, grab up through control, ooh, control Z, didn't want to do that. Um, let's grab a big chunk of stuff here and I can control shift U and decode those and it still works. And I can grab some more, control shift U and decode and it still works. Um, and it's getting interesting here because like what is breaking it, right? So you come, you come all the way to here, control shift U, and it still works. Um, so we're getting pretty close to the end here. Um, control shift U, and it breaks. Okay, so something in here is breaking it for sure. Um, now the obvious answer is it's got to be the semicolon, right? Because when you're dealing with a cookie, semicolon is how you delimit between different cookies. So this, when the web, web, the web request goes up, the server is going to receive this, think the auth cookie goes to here, and then thinks this is a new cookie starting here. Um, so clearly I want to encode that. Um, so if I, uh, percent 3B, let's see if I can do it off the top of my head, and our ping's working again. And in fact, it turns out I can actually decode the entire thing, um, except for that one 3% percent 3B, and it works. Um, okay, that's pretty cool. That's that's I can explain that. Um, but why then does it break when I select all of this and do Control U? Um, and I probably want to get rid of that twenty five because I didn't mean to encode that twice. Um, this breaks, right? So we can see it. Nothing. No no execution happens. And yeah, you know, it's funny. I was chatting with Ipsec about this, and it actually we figured out what actually is breaking it is it doesn't like these pluses. Um, URL encoding often will encode a plus to a, a space to a plus. So as soon as I get rid of those three pluses, um, it works again. And in fact, I can even, if I want, I can percent 20 them. because That's, that's the other encoding for a space. Um, and it still works fine. So anyway, um, couple, I mean, the lesson here is this was, an, this was, this felt way harder to get working than, uh, should have been, or that it felt like it should have been. Um, I, it's hard to show in a blog post, but I, I've struggled getting this payload working. Um, and a lot of it was based on the URL encoding. Um, so yeah, you, know, you have to be really careful with that and you have to actually really think through, okay, what encodings am I using, et cetera. Um, it's probably easier just to encode everything at the start because that works, um, but it just makes it a pain in the butt to have to update it, especially since there's no keyboard shortcut to encode all. So um, anyway, I don't know, this, maybe you find this interesting, maybe not, but uh, thanks for sticking around until the end and watching and uh, I'll talk to you next time.